Welcome. Welcome back to Teach You Little class and this is Survey of Math series. This is chapter 4, number presentations and calculation. And this is the last part, which is part 6. And if you need these notes, feel free to get it from the description box. And just click on the link and can, you can download it for free. And today we'll be continuing the two last ways to show that you are professional in math. And this is now the traditional Chinese numeration system. I believe that for most of the Chinese students, this will be much more easy because this is what the numbers they'll be using in our daily life. However, there's a little bit difference is that because this is a traditional Chinese numeration system, so these are be written in vertical form. Okay? So remember, the first thing you remember is this is be written in vertical form. Okay, so now let's look at the traditional Chinese numerals that we'll be learning here. So here say one is in this line symbol, two in this double line symbol, three is with this triple line symbol, four is with a box light, and with a two slash, yeah. And five is a little bit different. Six is like a star. Seven is like a cross. Eight is like a mustache. Nine is something yeah like this. And ten is also like a cross. So the but the difference between seven and ten is that the seven is going to the right side, like it's going like this. But ten is a street. Okay? And 100 is in, yeah, in this form, like a television. And 1000 is in, like a tree, yeah. This looks like, like 10, but just uh, with the addition of slash here, up there, okay? So now, by knowing all this, now we need to write the, write the Chinese numeration system here. So let, let's learn to look at the first question here. So let's learn to identify. Triple line, which means that this is what? This is 3. Now we have this line. This is what? 1000. Here we have what? 2. 2 line, right? That's mean 2. And this symbol means that 100. So 100. 6, according to here, 6. Then this is a cross, which means that this is a 10. And this is a box light with two mu one mustache, which is equal to 4. Okay, now, when we look at all this, that, that, then what should we do? Uh, we we, we found, figured it out, how was the numbers, but how can we write in the Indo Arabic numerals? Okay, remember this. When it always comes with like this, it actually tells you that 3,264. And that is what the Chinese numeration, the traditional Chinese numerals gives you. So basically, you can understand this as 3,264. This is the answer. Basically, we can understand that this is 3 times 1000 plus 2 times 1000 plus 6 times 10 plus 4. Now, this is the concept, okay? That's how the Chinese read it out, read out, or write down the Chinese numerals, okay? So, let's go to the next question. What is this? With a single line, this is 1. And as you know, this is 1,000. Uh, and this is 1. And this is with the cross. is 10. And with a, like a starlight, that's equal to 6. So again, the same concept. This and this, you need to times. Then plus with this times this. Then you plus with this one. So 1 times 1,000 is equal to 1,000, right? 1 times 10 is equal to 10. Then 6 will be 6. Then you add it up. So it should give you 1,000 and 
16. That is the answer. Okay. So now, how can we convert now from the Hindu Arabic numerals to the traditional Chinese numerals? Actually, the, the same way. 2,693. So basically, we just need to write 2,000. So what is 2? This is 2. So 2. Now, this 2 is 1,000, right? So you need to write this 1,000. This 1,000. 2,000. And what's the next one? 600, right? So you need to find what we should write is 6. This is 6. So right here, 6. 100, okay, this is 100, so 690, 90, so 9, so 9, 90, which is uh, uh, 10, right, so this is 90, and the last one is 3, which means that the triple line here, 3, and that's the answer. Nine, uh, 2,693. Okay, let's look at the, la the next one. 1,3,1,4. Of course, we know that it is 1,314. So, 1,000. 1, as you know, is a line. 1,000. This is what we're familiar with now. 1,000. 300. 3 is what? 3 is the triple line. 3. 100, 100, as you know, is this one, 100, and 1, 4. No, it's 1, well, and that 1 is under 10s, right? So 1 and 10s is a cross. And the next one is 4. And 4 is a box with a mustache. Okay, so it means that it is 1,314. Okay, let's look at the last, last question for this Chinese, traditional Chinese numeration system. 9,876. So, 9,000. So, 9, as you know, is this one. So, 9,000, 1,000, as you know, you will be familiar now. 800, 8 is a mustache, right? Here. 800, 100 is this one. So 176. So 7 is this one. The cross that bends to the right. Okay. 7. D, 70, which means 7 and 10, right? 7 and 10. And 6 will be like a star light figure. So 9,876. And that is for our traditional Chinese numeration system. Mm, for, for the non-Chinese students, you might be requiring to remember, or maybe the exam is given this table, depending on the teacher. Okay, so I hope you get it, and that is how we do this. Let's look at the last, last one, which is the Ionic Greek numeration system. Okay, some of the, the words that we are, somehow actually we are familiar. For example, this is a table. And as example, I believe that you heard about alpha. This symbol is alpha. I believe that you heard about beta. I believe also you heard about uh, gamma. Delta, Epsilon, and also Theta. Some of you might know also Lambda. Some of you might also know Sigma. Some of you might also heard about Omega. Yeah, those actually are common words. And some of these words actually you heard often in the physics world. Okay? But never mind. This now we are discussing about the Ionic Greek numeration system. We need to understand that. First thing, this is how we write. And actually in between, it is also the addition. Okay, let's remember like this symbol plus this symbol plus this symbol is the total answer. Okay, so let's learn about this. When you see something like this, it is alpha. Something like this, this is beta. 
this is gamma, delta, epsilon, and something wow, zeta, eta, theta, and yeah, all those is kappa, lambda, mu, nu, c, omicron, pi. Oh, pi is even here. Called rho, maybe is it called rho? I'm not sure. Sigma, tau, epsilon, phi, key, maybe, psi, omega, and some pi. Okay, anyway, we it's okay to not know how to read as long as we know what's the figure or what's the symbol. Okay, so the first one we need to find. This first symbol is something like this. So what does that stand for? Let's try to look, look from here. Did you see something that looks like this one? Okay, if you look at it detailed, you be somehow look at this one. Is this looks like this one? Yes. So this is seven hundred plus. How about the next one? The next one is something like this. That's called lambda. So what is it? Where is it? This one, right? So so this is thirty. So we plus thirty. And the last one. Who is the last one? If you look carefully, this actually looks like this one. So that's delta, so that's 4. So which means that this gives you 734. That's all. Easy, right? We just need to familiarize ourselves with the table so we can find it now easily. Okay, let me just remove this one. Oops, let's do the next question. Now it's like a P light figure. If you notice, there's actually this one, hundred, and this one it will be. Now basically, you also can recognize that this is one, two, three, right? Okay, so this one will be around this side, and this will be sixty. I think it's this one. So it will be sixty. And the last one we like three light. So that will be that will be this one. Okay, be five. So it be hundred and sixty five. That's so. So basically, if you want to convert from the uh, from the Ionic Greek numerals to Hindu Arabic numerals, you just need to refer to the table. And so the same thing, when you want to convert it back to the Greek numerals, you need to look at the table. So here, 506. 500, as you know, is something like this, right? Something like this. So you just need to like, okay? And 6, 6 is something like this. So you just need to write like this, okay? I might not write it correctly or nicely. But you can write it nicely, okay? 206, 200 is something like this. Okay, 200 like this. And 6 is like what we did just now, like this. And now 629, this is 600. Now it's like this. Okay, like this. Let me just erase it. Uh, yeah. 620 20 is here 9 is theta like this so there's 629 so yeah so it's actually somehow easy right you just need to find out this table and you can just write it down easily so thank you so much for following us and study with us for this chapter. And this, this is the last part for this video, uh, last part for this chapter. So I hope you have learned well. And you can practice more questions from the textbook too. So thank you so much. Hope you be safe and thank you.